ya, dalam acara kita hari ini mengenai bedah buku semantik modality di mana penulisnya adalah Bapak Dr. Muhammad Dalumunti S.A.G. S.S. Hukum. Salam berdengar salam, datanglah kita hari ini kepada jujuran kita bagaimana Rasulullah Muhammad SAW serta para keluarga dan sahabat yang beliau di mana atas berkat tahmat dan hidayah beliau semua kita dapat menikmati masa-masa seperti saat ini. Yang terhormat Bapak Wakil Menteri Kali Dua Fakultas Ilmu Tarbiyah dan Kekuruan Bapak Dr. Muhammad Dalim Menteri SPG FSN Hum dan juga selaku narasumber pada acara bedah buku hari ini. Yang terhormat Bapak Mas Latif Dwi Purnomo PhD selaku Kaprodi S2 Bahasa Inggris Baik Tanpa Berlangganan Tanpa lagi Kita kita Masuk ke acara Selanjutnya Namun sebelumnya Kita masuk ke acara Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Selanjutnya Adalah Selanjutnya
And yeah, I'll give this uh, microphone to the moderator. Yeah. Thank you so much. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Thank you so much for Mr. Masrati for your opening speech. Now, without any further ado, let's come for the next agenda. It is song launching and book review semantic modality. And for so much can preview the book uh, semantic modality, I will leave it for this agenda. Okay. Before we come for uh, the main agenda, which is uh, Mr. Muhammad's speech here, let me have uh, all of the audience, the audience about him. Dr. Muhammad Ali Monday as AGFSM Book. He was born on March 28, 1971, at Sigambal Tantau Parapat, North Sumatra. He finished his study for undergraduate program at State Institute for Islamic Studies of North Sumatra, 1995, and University of Indonesia, Jakarta, 1999. He got a master's degree at State University of Medan, 2004, and his doctoral grade at University of North Sumatra on 2014. He has visited many countries, such as New South Wales University, Australia, for his research dissertation. Leiden University, Netherlands, for his research dissertation, Tohoku University, Tokyo for a conference, Germany, France, Swiss, for visiting lecturer. He is a lecturer at Faculty of Harbia, Science and Teacher Training, State Islamic University of North Sumatra, Medan. 
and without any further ado, let us call the Google Muhammad as one day. And then uh, I will give this to Mr. Muhammad as one day. And then uh, Mr. Muhammad as one day, I will give Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Alhamdulillah <laughs> the heart of the uh, English department program, uh, Mr. Professor Candidate Maslatif, and the Honorable, the Professor, the excellent, the excellent Professor, Ms. Rahma. Yeah. He is my close friend, and he is my inspiring lectures besides okay she is my friend too and also the honorable the professor candidate miss solihatul hamida daulai as the editor of this book and also the all of the answers is uh, participating in this forum. And also, I'd like to say thank you very much for the caretakers who conduct okay, this great moment to serve about semantic okay, with you all. Ladies and gentlemen, this book was published. This about last month. Yeah, it's about last month, and in this moment, we would like to review the contents of this book. And of course, by having. This reviews constructive criticism and also contribution from the participant will be very valuable to make this book better yeah, for the next publishing. I and the editors of this book have planning to discuss semantic modality deeper for the next publishing. So that's why I studied that this volume is very fruitful to make the contents of the next publishing better. So Okay. Good. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and the whole participants in this morning.
nên lại nó Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this book are consisting of uh, three chapters, three or four, okay, uh, four chapters, and the first chapter is talking about the descriptions of modality. And some perspective of uh, different linguists. And the second chapter talks about modality and its typologies in a polar language. And the third, the third chapter, the realizations of modality in a polar language. And the four formulations of a polar language modality. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this book is research based. So the contents of this book was taken from the research base in the research field. And the theory used to analyze are taken from some varieties of linguists. And I believe this book will be a useful for uh, the students who are interested in discussing about modality in local language of not Sumatra, in this case is uh, Angola language. We know that there are many kinds of, um, there are many kinds of uh, local language in Sumatra. And I took this uh, language because of, I would say that most Communities in Sumatra understandings about Batakni's language in this case is Angola language. And also, okay, the contents of this book was taken from my dissertations where I uh, finished. Uh, my SD programs in Sumatra. And of course, we have uh, put some additional information to support okay, the theories of uh, modality. Ladies and gentlemen, and also, of course, some students of SD programs okay, joining this uh, forum. What is sexual modality? This is quite interesting. Former studied modality is concerns with opinion and attitude of speakers. So in terms of communicating with community, with others in academic meeting or non-formal non meetings, modality will be very are useful in order the addressee will be able to evaluate the confidence of the speaker on his or her proposition. So in general, we could say that modality used to express the degrees of speakers confident, the attitude of speakers on the proposition he started. In this book, okay, we discuss three kinds of modality based on the theory of Palmer 
and also supported by the other limits. The three kinds of modality we have here, epistemic modality, deontic modality, and dynamic modality. Ladies and gentlemen, as we stated before, modal, models express modality are always used by speakers, whether in formal or formal meeting. So as intellectual community, we use English as mediums of communication to express your ideas, your opinions, your perspective. So modality or modal, okay, will implant the sense of expression you started to the adversary or the listeners. So that's why, that's why I studied before models or a modality is important to understood by you, by us as a linguist. Ladies and gentlemen, People think something might be or might happen other than what actually are over. In this statement, we cannot deny when you are expressing your ideas, when you are expressing your point of view, you cannot deny that sometimes you are lacking of self-confidence on the proposition you started. So when you are not sure with the contents of your expression of your proposition, so may, might be, are the models that you can use. So in this case, we will discuss deeper, yeah. What is actually the science expressed by, okay, these models? Okay, in English, we have some, some models such as shall, should, can, could, may, might, would, and so forth. But of course, we see this model in perspective of semantic. What is actually the meaning What is model? When we see this model in the perspective of structural English, okay, in structural English, we may discuss when we have model, so what kind of verb we will use after this, okay? What form of verb we will use after this model? But in this case, we don't talk about what verb, but what sound, okay, is expressed by the models themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, now we'll try to see epistemic modality based on the theory of Palmer. Yeah, I was lucky. I, I thought I was lucky when I met with the, 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 the experts of uh, semantic in New South Wales University. Okay, his name is... Uh, Ah, sorry. He was my supervisor at the time when I brought my proposal yeah, for this, this uh, contents of this book. Okay, I forgot. Maybe later we tell you. says epistemic modality indicate the status of the proposition in terms of the speaker's degree of commitment to it. Okay. So when you use models, again, okay, when you use model, the addressee, the listener, will be able to measure your confidence on the processions of your study. 
Okay, if we okay use and presentate the other C will problem. Leave the fact of his proposition a uh, fifty percent is true, fifty percent is possibility. So that's the sign expressed by modality. So to, to persuade someone, okay, model or modality will take very important role. Yeah. Model or modality will take very important role to persuade people who you are talk to. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see the functions of epistemic models to make judgments about possibility and necessity. Okay, let's take one example. When I say Wafi must be in Jakarta by now. Wafi must be in Jakarta by now. Okay. In the statement, it said that based on in the context, I assume taking into account what time he left home, the time now, and the state of public transportation. So if Wapi can okay, leave for Jakarta at eight o'clock, and when this statement expressed at 11 o'clock, you know, the time used from Medan to Jakarta, it's about two hours and 15. So when you express this statement at 11 o'clock, so Wapi must be in Jakarta. Because the distance only took, you know, took uh, two hours and a half. So mass here, mass here, okay, gives sense that the speaker has data, okay, relate to the event. Okay, relate to the event. Let's for example. Professor Rahma must be in her office now. Let's say when I when I state this statement for stand at eight o'clock by saying must be because I know that okay the professor is always in her office before eight o'clock. So the information I got as a data, okay, then I conclude the data by using mass. So mass here, okay, will persuade people that the speaker have good confidence Okay, about the truth of the event expressed. That's mass. Okay. All right. Epistemic possibility. Okay, can. You know, as we studied before, we have some kinds of model. Okay, we have may. Okay, now we have can. Can has core meaning, ability, or permission, and possibility. Okay, can itself, okay, can itself, can ex uh, can express variety of senses. Can the model can, okay, could be used uh, to express the same ability. Okay, could be used. To express the sun's permission and also could be used to express the sun possibility. So this is the semantic. This is the semantic. The semantic we see the sun expressed by a particular word. In this case, yes, by a particular uh, model.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see uh, the table. Okay, relate to the use of okay models in perspective of uh, you know uh, semantic models may it may be it will be model may and will and then may itself and then can and then sort. Okay, so these models are used, okay, to express possibility. So when you like to express your ideas and you are guessing, you are thinking that the event you express will happen, so that's what we call possibility. So please use may, can, and sort to express possibility. So uh, this is quite interesting when you have uh, the academic meetings, okay? When you have the academic meeting and you give your command, you give your point of view by using may, for instance, maybe for instance, so the adversary will be able to conclude that you are not sure yet, okay? The contents of your, your expressions happened. This is what we call possibility. <laughs> and necessity. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. To express the sense of necessity, we have must, we have need. Okay. There must be some mistake. Okay. You must be feeling tired. So must and need, okay, are models used to express Necessity. Ladies and gentlemen, now we have obligation, must and should. Okay. Those are, okay, those are used to express obligation. Even, okay, even sometimes should also can be used, okay, to express suggestion. Okay, but overall, okay, must and should in perspective of modality are used to express obligation. Uh, now, for, for obligation. Okay, moderator, the end of all my time. Huh? Must, you must do this 10 time over, strong. Yeah? Strong mean not 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 strong. What I I appreciate to you strong stress that not that right? Okay, strong mean okay the opposite of uh, weak. Must you must do this ten times? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I remember must must is obligation. Okay, must when somebody say must mean he has a power. Huh? he has a power. When we talk deeper about mass, mass okay, uh, also express authority. In perspective of modality, authority can be divided into two. Yeah. Okay. The authority, okay, uh, the authority uh, can be expressed by using mass. And the authority itself can be divided into two categories. The first one, what we call now, uh, legal authority. Okay, legal authority. So when somebody has a legal authority, so mass, modal mass can be used to express, okay, an obligation of somebody, a person. If you are, if you are a manager, if you are a boss, okay, and you have uh, some employees, okay, you have some, you know, uh, some some officers. So because you are the boss at uh, at the office, so you can use mass. You may say to your to your to employer, okay. You must do this on time, for instance. This is what we call legal authority. Okay.
is the mass. Another one, what we call individual authority. Individual authority is used to express the authority, okay, you have best on, okay, best on the age, best on the age. Present, you are older than your little brother, or you are older than your little sister. So, in terms of individual authority, you may say you must do this to your little sister, to your little brother. So, this is what we call individual authority. But don't ever say must, don't ever say must to the same level with you. You must do this. You may not say this. Because you don't have a legal authority, you don't have individual authority. Okay? I, I had a very funny story. This is a this, this is a real story. When I had a when I had you know a fellow from the United States, okay, I don't want to tell the names, okay. This is one of the fellow, okay, who were teaching uh, at our university at the time. Okay. One day, I and my my American uh, friends, I mean the fellow, were sitting in his office. Okay, suddenly one uh, suddenly someone called him. Okay, suddenly someone called him. And then in the telephone call, the person said to him, Bradley, okay, the name is Bradley. Bradley, you must come to my office. There is a letter for you. Okay, in the telephone call, okay, he got the information. Bradley, you must come to my office. There is a letter for you. You know what happened? Okay, my friend was angry at the time. Why? Because the person who phoned him is not his boss. Okay, he is uh, the colleague of ours. So my friend who phoned him has no authority to instruct him to do something. So the question, what model should be used by my friend who called him? Okay, the, the, the appropriate models can be used by the person who called him was, Bradley, you should come to my office. There is a letter for you. So the sense expressed by model should is suggested. So because of, okay, the person who found him at the time by uh, using must, okay, my friend was angry at the time. And then I asked, what happening? He said, who, uh, what? I said, uh, what was he? He said, what was he? In, in, in Bahasa, okay, we can translate. Dia itu siapa rupanya? He's not the boss. So, models, okay, are a model should be considered by you when you have uh, communications, okay, uh, with, with somebody, whether informal or academic meeting or non academic meeting. Because, you know, a linguist, I think every linguist will have sense of language. Yeah. In in Lugadil Arabia, you can so. Yeah, every linguist will have sense of language. So when you have a wrong models in your expression, the address C, who has a good understandings about model, okay, will be heard. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Now we see the antique. What is the antique tower? Okay. 
Now we have semantic. Now, okay, we will discuss the ontic. The ontic modality, okay, celebrate the meaning lying between yes or no. Do it or don't do it. Okay, let's say some example for this. The models in perspective of a deontic okay, modality, we have necessity, we have obligations, we have permission. Let's say must, okay, the model must. You must go home now. Okay, this is deontic. Okay, in general, deontic has some meaning with command. Okay, command sentence, imperative sentence. Okay, even, okay, this is interesting. You must go home now is a statement. Okay, he declares something. But the sense of this is command sentence. So by using modal even, the statement is not, is not command sentence, but the sense could be command. You must go home now. Instead of saying, go home now. And then you must tell me how to get it. Okay, you must tell me how to get it. This is a statement, but the sense of this statement is command sentence. Instruct somebody to do something. And then get out from this house. Okay, this is a real. This is a real imperative sentence. Okay, you must play this 10 time over. Okay, this is a statement, but the sense, okay, is command sentence. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to correlate this into Angola language. This is a very interesting uh, conclusion I got, okay, from this uh, data analysis I got from the research field. In Bahasa English, okay, in English language, imperative sentence only have two kinds of In English, okay, imperative sentence. Take it, umbilical it. Okay, when the speaker would like to make polite expressions, okay, he may use, please take it, I to take it, please. But in Angola language, you have more than two. So that's why, okay, I ever started and wrote in an article, Angola language is broader than English language. Let's take the comparison, let's take the comparison as a uh, sentence from Angola language. I'm built on it to take it. To make polite, okay, you may say, please take it, I'll take it, please. That's it. When you say, would you like to take it? It's not command, but request, right? Would you mind taking, please? It's not command, but request. But in Angola language, take it please can be used by three models. Take it, buat i, buat i. Nah, ini, ini editornya Sam Stim ini. Kalau kita bilang bahasa Angola. Nah, karena editor ini, makanya editornya itu uh, beliau, karena dia paham bahasa Angola, paham bahasa Batak. Karena ada ulang ya. Yang ini double D. Ini double D, oke? Okay? Jadi, take it, okay, take it, take it please, bahasa angkola buat i atau buat ti. To make it polite by use by using modal buat ma. Itu polite. Buat ma. Kemudian ada buat da. Satu lagi buat ma da. Jadi, in the antik modality level,
this time being understand okay quality ya buat ti buat ma buat da buat nada ai tiga kalau bahasa bahasa inggris check it okay check it please that's it okay in the perspective of Oke, okay. uh, deontik modality. Jadi bahasa Angkola itu dalam konteks level deontik lebih kaya ketimbang bahasa Inggris. Nggak nah. tahu saya kalau bahasa Melayu atau bahasa Jawa. Saya kira bahasa bahasa Jawa juga lebih kaya. Saya kira. Ya. Bahasa Jawa itu kan ada level-levelnya ya. Ada level-levelnya gitu. Nah. Jadi kalau apa namanya. Makanya ada apa namanya. Dalam segi nama pun yang, yang terpanjang itu yang pernah saya dengar itu apa nama orang orang oke okay, orang kita orang kita uh, Jawa ada saya punya teman namanya panjang Joko Samboto di Tenang Oropo di Tempo Peloko Purutoroso panggilannya si Joko nah, ya. oke okay, terakhir kawan-kawan kita mau lihat Uh, Oke, okay. sorry, Dion Cik itu ada yang promisal lagi ya, ada yang promisal, Pak Yusin May, Kat, dan sebagainya. You may smoke in here. Uh, you may smoke in here. Nah, subjektif Dion Cik. Ya, subjektif, subjektif, uh, subjektif Dion Cik, depends, oke, okay, permission. Artinya, oke, okay, silakan Anda boleh merokok di sini misalnya gitu. Memang kalau saya pernah analis begini, Stop smoking karena kalau saya bilang, oke okay, berhenti dulu baru merokok gitu. Nah, karena kalau sambil lari nggak bisa merokok, nah, gitu ya. Jadi stop smoking, oke okay, berhenti dulu baru merokok lah gitu. <laughs> nah, gitu ya. <laughs> Pak Bani ketawa dia. Jadi stop smoking, berhenti baru merokok. Kenapa? Kalau sambil lari nggak bisa merokok gitu. Nah, oke. Okay. Tapi itu 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 guyon aja kawan-kawannya. Nah, kecuali stop to smoke, nah, itu boleh. Nah, tapi kalau stop smoking ya memang benar-benar suruh suruh untuk tidak merokok gitu ya. Nah, itu nah kawan-kawan, the next we have permission, okay, and the last dynamic modality. Nah, this is the last. The dynamic modality discuss about the speaker's attitude on the actualizations of the proposition. It is also discussed in the ontic modality. The, distinct, the distinction between those terms is dynamic modality okay, dealing with the, actual, the actualizations of the event is defined by the laws of nature, okay? but in the ontic modality, defined by social law. Nah, jadi kalau dalam in dynamic modality, okay, the actual the actualizations of the event, okay, based on the law of nature, okay, but in the ontic defined by social laws. Okay, this is interesting. Why? Why Perkins said the ontic modality defined by social laws, okay. Because this is the antic is, is command center imperative. Okay, imperative. Let's say okay. Let's take back to the okay the use of mass, for instance. Mass mass can be used by somebody who has a higher level of social status. Okay, what they call legal authority. So it's dealing with a social laws. Okay, good. But in the ontic, okay, defined, okay, by law, nature. I mean, okay, in the way around, yeah, in the in, in the way around of uh, social laws. Yes, uh, okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, okay, we have a semantic group. We have permissions, ability, possibility, okay, model, uh, used, okay, can, could, may, and so forth. Uh, we have semi modal ya yeah? semi modal uh, peter collin i remember peter collin ya yeah. my supervisor my supervisor at minnesota religion university okay. peter collin yes yeah peter collin yeah yes yeah pak latif knows peter collin 
in in Netherlands I got professor Angel Van Oven yeah who helped my okay my dissertation proposal at the time okay how to analyze okay this data ya kadang-kadang agak kemarin agak geli juga kawan-kawan masa bahas Angola sampai ke Australia sampai ke Belanda bahasnya kan gitu ya nah, tapi karena ini academic discussion ya tidak melihat topik apa yang harus dibahas kan gitu jenis topik apa yang harus dibahas tapi apapun dia when we see okay something in perspective of academic okay it doesn't consider the distance of now the distance of uh, research field yeah it is uh, considered by the usefulness of the contents of you now the research jadi kalau udah cerita akademik kan tidak melihat jarak tapi melihat pentingnya apa yang akan dibahas itu gitu ya Oke okay, kawan-kawan, jadi uh, that's uh, those are okay the descriptions of semantic modality. Uh, Alhamdulillah, I have uh, shared this book to some students of our uh, graduate uh, program. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, kawan-kawan yang yang S2 uh, sudah, saya kira kalau 12 orang sudah ada saya buku ini bagi nanti yang berminat kawan-kawan yang S2. Ya mungkin masih ada stok still available. Ya silakan datang ke ruangan saya itu kita gratiskan ya. Oh, kita gratiskan. Ya. Kita sudah share sama Nisbro sudah kita apa itu. Karena saya akan merasa berdosa kalau saya karena sudah tidak naik kan gitu. Jadi nanti Ya baru saya cetak ulang kalau itu dijual ya boleh gitu. Tapi kalau ini tidak. Ya. Jadi silakan kawan-kawan yang S2, okay, the students of graduate programs, if you have time, okay, please come to my office, okay, you may have my book free, yeah, free for you as intellectual community, yeah. Uh, I strongly, I'm strongly interested in, okay, giving you this book, yeah, because you know our art department strongly support, yeah, so. And I think it will be keeping going, yeah, up to uh, next person, yeah. Baik, saya kira demikian. Thank you for uh, the head of English department and MC, yeah. Uh, thank you. Wassalamualaikum Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much for. Uh, thank you very much to our speaker who have delivered the material very clearly and informatively, of course. Hopefully, that the explanation can add to our insight and understanding of the semantic modality. And then, for the next is questions and answer session offline or online. Okay, to all the audience, please feel free to ask questions by mentioning your name and then your institution. Thank you very much. Okay, to all the audience, online or offline, if you have any questions, yeah, time is yours. We can start now to give a comment for this book review for Professor Thompson. 
Thank you, Your Honor. And first of all, I would like to congratulate uh, Dr. Galing Gute, Dr. Sarihatul Hamida, soon both of them be a professor. And uh, I would also like to congratulate to the head of the department, uh, Dr. Maslati, for providing such a very unique platform for us actually to share our ideas. I believe that this is not the work of the first uh, lecturer in our department board in uh, undergraduate and graduate programs to publish, a book, uh, to produce a book. However, this is the very first time that we had such a discussion and then to share it to public, knowing that uh, and it, it's such a good, a good idea. Uh, thank you, Pak Latif, uh, because uh, doing this is actually spread the words that we have this particular program at all the academia, the teachers, uh, the lecturers and the students are active in doing uh, academic writing. Uh, say, um, I could find that this is as what Pak Masatif said, this is related to our previous meeting about academic writing, whether we like it or not, graduate programs, conducting graduate degree uh, studies, meaning that we will be closely in touch with uh, academic work, academic writing. And uh, talking about semantic modality, whether it is spoken or written language, we know that whatever the authors or the speakers want to say should be, uh, if we want to have a good communication, if we want to say that the discourse works well, meaning whatever the author wants to say, should be grasped, should be understood by the readers, then we can say that that's a good communication, either in spoken or in written language. And I think this book is one of the uh, one of the media talking about how you could come to that uh, to that uh, purpose, how you could achieve the purpose. Uh, there are, of course, there are so many aspects of linguistics. We are not only talking about semantics, but this one is particularly in semantics. I have actually one question. Uh, see, seeing the book, uh, seeing the title, Semantic Modality, and then uh, reading the content, uh, honestly speaking, I didn't expect that the insight would, would, would be focusing on one of the ethnic languages in Indonesia. Yeah. Uh, when we are talking about semantic modality, I'm talking only talking about literally cutting or describing uh, semantic modality in general, particularly from the English language perspective. But it's a different one. So my first question, could you just provide us with a brief introduction, uh, a, a, a brief or a short explanation of how this Angola language in terms of specific modality come across uh, across the world with the English language semantic modality, that's the first one. And then the second one, is there any idea, is there any reason, is there any reason why you specifically use this uh, title? It, it has nothing to do with it, with, with its origin. I'm just curious, actually. You have the title semantic modality. Is there any idea why uh, you do not put, for example, semantic modality or focus on Angular language, something like that, which brings the, uh, say that, uh, gives the clue to the audience that, okay, we are literally here talking about one particular ethnic language in Indonesia. At the same time, it actually will invite, will, uh, it will, it, it will, it will provoke uh, other authors to write about any other ethnic languages, for example. And it can be, it could be a series uh, of books written by uh, lecturers at uh, English program. Okay, I okay. uh, say that Pak Dali Mute is um, uh, writing about Angola language, maybe 
we found many kinds of modality used by a mom or a daddy when he was when they were talking uh, with uh, their children and the sand can be called after we read okay the we, after we read the next paragraph of the history so by reading okay by reading some explanation relate to the even talk with the parent of we can conclude of oh, this model means blah 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 uh, jadi bapak ibu uh, bahwa okay dalam bahasa angkola even uh, written or spoken communication ya dalam bahasa angkola apakah itu dalam uh, komunikasi lisan maupun tulisan okay kami menemukan sangat banyak modal digunakan di situ Ya, sangat banyak modal digunakan di situ. Uh, dalam satu buku yang berjudul Halilian, Halilian, ketika ada dialog antara si ayah, si mama, dan si anak, modal yang digunakan di situ ya sangat tergambar apa maksudnya ketika kita, ketika kami baca the next paragrafnya. Oh ternyata modal ini, ini maknanya gitu. Nah. Jadi ada satu yang menarik, tapi ini bukan modal, tapi ada satu word, ya, satu kata, beda cinta dan kolong. Nah, di, di tradisi Batak itu, kalau cinta, uh, itu sensnya lebih rendah daripada kolong. Makanya dalam lagu-lagu itu, kolong doro haku, itu di atas cinta artinya. Nah, kolong doro haku di kolong, itu di atas cinta artinya. Nah, jadi kalau aku cinta sama kamu nah itu biasa-biasa saja. Tapi kalau aku holong sama kamu itu enggak itu luar biasa. Nah, kalau bahasa remajanya kalau enggak dengar suaranya bisa demam gitu. Bisa demam dia. Itulah kalau holong. Nah, kalau enggak ketemu sehari kayak sewindo gitu ya. Nah, karena saya pernah baca dan ya pernah lihat status kawan kita lima windu kata <laughs> <laughs> status lima window bayangin aja lima window seberapa lama itu ya? nah, jadi artinya itu jadi dalam bahasa batak itu memang ya banyak modal yang digunakan dan setiap modal itu akan memberikan sense tertentu ya dan itu bisa kita tangkap manakala kita dalam konteks novel tadi kita baca paragraf paragraf berikutnya gitu dalam dalam bahasa komunikasi desain ya itu tadi bagi bagi pengguna bahasa itu ya ini malah saya biasa biasa saja ya oke okay, uh, saya sangat berterima kasih kepada Prof Rahma ya atas apa namanya uh, masukan ya untuk judul buku ini memang saya masih ada rencana kalau ada nanti pendanaan memang mau bikin masih bahasa lokal language atau ethnic language ya karena gini ya konteks North Sumatera ini menarik mengapa kemarin uh, kita diarahkan mengambil judul yang seperti ini hasil penelitian menunjukkan bahwa banyak bahasa bahasa lokal hampir punah uh, hampir punah dia that language artinya sangat berkurang penggunanya jadi ada pengalaman sedikit, saya malah membaca uh, atau menemukan struktur marga itu di Leiden University. Coba. Struktur marga Batak itu, Nasution, Seregar, dan sebagainya, saya dapatkan di Leiden University. Di KTLP-nya itu. Bukan, bukan di, di Sumatera, saya dapat. Nah, artinya apa? Tidak. Orang leden, bukan orang leden, orang orang luar itu saya dalam tanda kutip orang tanda kutip ya. Ketika mereka berjalan travel satu bulan di negara lain, pulangnya bawa buku gitu. Hasilnya ada satu buku. Nah, kalau kita berjalan satu bulan dua bulan, ya pulangnya cuma bawa memori gitu. Nah, cerita-cerita aja nggak nggak ada, 
nggak nggak ada nggak ada apa bukti sejarah gitu. Jadi di Leiden University itu ada di KTLP Jakarta sekarang ada KTLP uh, itu ada kajian Asia Tenggara. Nah, ada perpustakaan eh, kajian Asia Tenggara jadi orang-orang yang yang mengkaji Asia Tenggara itu di KTL itu lengkap bukunya nah artinya apa bahwa kita sebagai orang linguis ya kayaknya punya punya kewajiban atau punya rasa sense of morality ya untuk melestarikan ya budaya-budaya lokal kita dalam konteks ini adalah oke okay, language-nya gitu artinya bahwa hasil uh, pantauan kami ya kajian modalitas dalam bahasa Angkola ya ini kebetulan sudah kita hakikan ya bahwa this is the first discussion of Angkola language in perspective of semantic ya in uh, narrower okay in perspective of uh, modality ya modality-nya gitu Baik, saya kira itu Pak MC ya yang, yang bisa kami respon. Ya tentu tentu saya berharap sepatah dua kata dari Bu Editor. Ya, Bu Editor dari, dari apa? apa? Bu Soya, agar uh, forum ini mungkin lebih lengkap ya. Kita minta sepatah dua kata dari dari Bu. Terima kasih. Thank you very much for answering. Now, this statement from the editor to Ibu Dr. Sontang Bena Dawal Yakin kepada Ibu Fansiwan. Ada sedia? Baik. Okay, thank you for the moderator. Just give me the chance to as a editor, uh, semantic modality, uh, the author Muhammad Dari Minde, SAD, SS, and Home. Okay. Uh, I'm sure this semantic modality is very important for us because uh, if we discuss about semantic modality, it not mean that we uh, only discuss about linguistic uh, purely, but also we can combine or about, uh, with the semantic problems in the classroom, especially in ASL classroom. Okay, baik. Uh, saya selaku editor juga merasa bangga ya, karena buku ini akhirnya bisa publish mengenai semantik modality. Uh, mungkin untuk pertama sekali ini fokus to local language, yaitu bahasa Angkola, um, Angkola language. Tapi sebenarnya nanti bisa dikembangkan, uh, insya Allah kita akan tetap berpartner dan join untuk penelitian buku selanjutnya. Uh, mungkin mengenai metafor, metafor juga bisa dikaji by Uh, in local language also, uh, dialectology. Okay, saya sudah discuss mengenai dialectology. Dialectology sudah saya teliti about Angkola language also. Uh, now, I still write about tabu language. Tabu language in Angkola also. Okay, that's why Angkola language hmm, popular now. Jadi kita mau coba membuat bahasa Angkola ini lebih populer lagi.
lagi di tempat jurnal. Oke, sekali lagi selamat kepada kandidat Profesor Dr. Muhammad dari Muti SKG SSNU. Semoga kedepannya kita tetap berpartner lanjut oke, sehingga terbitlah mahakarya-mahakarya berikutnya. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi Thank you very much to Miss Dr. Solihatul Hamidah Daulah M. Hum for your statement. Uh, yeah, let me take a conclusion. Semantic modality in scholarly work that delves into the interest nature of what which is a real constant. The book provides a comprehensive exploration of how modality, which deals with necessity, possibility, and other related concepts, operates within language. Kirets include the categorization of different types of modality, such as epistemic, uh, dialectic, and dynamic. The interaction between modality and linguistic elements and the theoretical framework used to analyze model expression. This book is particularly notable for its true analysis and clear presentation of complex ideas, making it a valuable research for linguistic philosophers and advanced students' interest in the semantic of modality. The authors employ a variety of examples and case studies to illustrate key points, ensuring that readers can grasp the practical implications of theoretical concepts. In summary, semantic modality often an individual. Semantic modality offers in deep and accessible examination of modal semantic contributing significantly to the understanding of how modality functions in language. Thank you very much to Dr. Muhammad Ali Muteyam for your presentation. Now, in the last session is giving certificate to the author. And Mr. Bhattati Sivuramo, PhD as the head of master's program of English education, to give the certificate to our speaker. All right, thank you so much, um, ladies and gentlemen, for our study program, as well as our lecturer. Uh, Professor Professor Ahmad Kiyani, Professor uh, Solihatul Hamidah, and Professor Kamidali. Um, yeah, now time to give our certificate of appreciation for Dr. Muhammad Dalimite. And Dr. Muhammad Dalimite, this is your certificate. And thank you so much for your attending today. Yes, today. Your coming today. Speaker for our book review and soft launching for your book, and it goes to Professor Julia. Thank you so much, and we are the university considers that uh, this program will be held on every Wednesday, and for next Wednesday, we are going to have an opening for uh, academic writing for thesis. That will be presented by Professor Deddy Santoso, our distinguished professor. Yeah, our distinguished professor, our very, very, not very old, yeah, but <laughs> very capable professor. Yeah, our distinguished and very professor professor will be presenting uh, his uh, material for academic introduction to academic writing for thesis. And you know that this program is always scheduled. We have made this program for you all students. So please behave that you have to attend and join all our program for our study uh, program, uh, for MTI study program. 
Thank you so much for all students and all the kids in hybrid here in the Delaware Cafe and as well as in Zoom and the invention. Thank you very much for the positive view that given the certificate of recognition to our speaker. Now it is all things very well. But before I go to this meeting, let me give you a hatut. Di tengah malam terang terang bulan kita dah berkumpul pada bersama. Masih modalnya tinggi jadi bahan pembelajaran, menambah ilmu itu membuka kawalan. Yang kedua, akhir di waktu lalu acara selesai, pengetahuan tentang apa hati pun senang. Mari kita tetap belajar lain kali dalam acara itu hidup yang tanpa komen. Ya, thank you very much for the audience and for the audience. If I have a mistake, I will do the story for all of you, all the audience. And I'm going to wait for you to come on top of all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's go back.